Who will meet Utah on Thursday night in the championship game? We're about to find out. And they've got the brothers Weatherspoon. Here's Quindary feeding one underneath to his brother Nick to get Mississippi State started. Seen in quite a while this season. Bar out of the double two. And on the board, the Nittany Lions is John Harad. You know, we were into those two NIT games. We watched him. He's big. <laughs> Tries to defend the rim here. A little too strong on the drive for Garner. Back up top, long three. Barry. Carr posting up Nick Weatherspoon. Got it. Nick Weatherspoon shakes and bakes. Moore finds Reeves with the left hand. Finishes. Wendary Weatherspoon. That floater goes. Three against Michigan in late February. And he was averaging near a double double in the Big Ten. So Carr, Watkins both back next season. Weatherspoon. A steal though. Jamari Wheeler. His finger roll finds its way down. Adu with the putback off the miss by Weatherspoon. Garner. Yes! A triple off the feet from Carr. Championship game on the line. For more information, go to NCAA.com. And can Bill Self pull another rabbit out of the hat against Villanova, a Kansas team he has in the Final Four that this year most didn't expect would even win the Big 12. We and watched he, All he did was sweep all the Big 12 titles. Absolutely. Bulldogs have a foul to give if they want to use it. Carr with three seconds to go in the quarter. Puts it up. Ah! Carr lobs one. Good ball movement to the corner. And a three. Berry. Carr knocks down another triple. A 15 point lead for Penn State. Reeves. Another three. Berry. By the Nittany line. He was not happy. A steal, though, by Reeves. Finds Carr. They need a basket in the worst way. Peters off balance. No. Adu fumbles it. Peters saves it. And it's another run out for Tony Carr. Garner. Wow! Six made threes here in the first half for Penn State. They are unconscious. Shep Garner allows the flyby, and it's another. Again? No. You were right. No. <laughs> Here's a run out for Carter. Throws it down. Tyson Carter got loose. Halftime, then you've got the third quarter to worry about. Yes, I used to tell my team in these situations. Tony Carter, though, with the finger roll is good. I'm just going to go up to Rucker Park and see who's playing. Exactly. And when you did, who was the biggest surprise player you kind of stumbled upon and said, wow, look who's here today. Well, he walks into the park in the summertime at the Entertainers League. So there's been so many, Bob. If you're a New York City great or a near great, you play at Rucker Park. Penn State has been great here in the first half, doubling up Mississippi State, 42-21. to 21. Looking to go to work here. Wraps a pass around to Adu. That's broken up. Lamar Stevens had it knocked away. Swatting it into the front court. Great hustle play by Reeves. Ends up with Garner. He's got the record. I'm, oh, that's a good slip right there by Holman. And he throws it down. That's even more off the mark. Garner. He's got another. And you're the guy making the case for Saquon Barkley just his impact on the team to those that would say it's just too high to take a running back talented back behind a probably the best offensive line that we had
Now there's a kid out here playing for Penn State, John Harar, who's a freshman. He's going to be a good basketball player, but he might have a fifth year in football. Would you ever consider a guy like that, bring him out to spring ball? John Harar was committed to Army for football. Another three goes down from Tony Cook. a three for Peters seven to shoot Stevens out of the double team bullets a pass underneath and Julian Moore with a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play two seconds to go in the quarter Carter keeps the timer but can't knock it down Sometimes the other kids are like, you know, we really needed that push. Like, we really were tired. And you really are still up there sweating and cheering for us. So we appreciate you. How can you play for play? Yeah, he's coming in. And we are going to turn this place out. We're ready to get the ship. He worked his whole life for this. In our last game, we're going to go out with a bang. A nuclear bang, yes. I appreciate it so much, Kim. Oh, I appreciate this. Guys, Flavor Flames coming. He, he, she was just on the phone. He booked his ticket. He's coming. Well, if there's one guy that ought to know what time the game starts, it's Uncle Flav. Ten. Stayed away for Holman, not there. And the rebound to Tony Carr. Lamar Stevens on the drive. Shot clock winding down for Carr. Five to shoot in the post. Carr. Yes. Okay, just want to make sure. A lob. And a finish. Josh Reeves having fun at the Garden, as is the Penn State bench. That's not one that anyone for Penn State's going to want to revisit. You don't do that to a teammate. No, no. John, John Arar is going to hear about that. The scoop by Peters. A three on the way. And it rims out for Shep Garner. He's in a slump at the Garden. Peters gives it up to Eric Holman, who never stopped playing. Stay night here at the Garden. Because you better believe a pretty vocal group of Utah fans that's in town is certainly going to stay here and watch their team play for the championship. And it does not take much to get Penn State fans to come to a Penn State event in New York City. And that's what they'll have here at the Garden on Thursday night. We saw it in 2009. They brought almost 30 busloads from around the Northeast to the Garden. And should have that same crowd Thursday night, Bob. That will be the NIT championship game at 7 Eastern on Thursday night. It'll be Penn State and Utah.